how to fix mobile data not working on your eSIM. So if you've purchased an eSIM but you're unable to connect to the cellular network, then I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to go and fix this. Now the first thing we need to do is go and open up the settings application. You can then scroll down and click on mobile service, scroll down to where it says SIMs, and you'll need to go and select the SIM that you're having issues with. So I'm going to click on this SIM here. Now from here, you just need to scroll down and make sure that data roaming is turned on and enabled and you may also see another option at the top of the window saying turn on this line if you do see that make sure this is also turned on and enabled and once you've done that your eSIM should now be working if you're still having issues then another thing you can try is coming back down to your eSIM you can scroll right down to the bottom of the page and there should be a button right at the bottom to go and delete your eSIM now I've already deleted mine so I don't see this but once you have deleted your eSIM you can then go and click on add eSIM you can then select Select use QR code. You could then go and scan the QR code to re-add your eSIM. If you don't have a QR code, select enter details manually. And you can then go and enter in the activation code, which will have been provided to you when you first purchased the eSIM. If it's still not working, then head back over to the main settings page. Next to aeroplane mode, toggle this button on. Then just wait around 10 to 15 seconds and go and turn this back off. And once again, you can check to see if your eSIM is now working. If you've only just purchased your eSIM, sometimes it can take up to 30 minutes to go and activate that mobile data so if this is the case for you then you may just need to wait a little bit longer and you can go and try again and it's really as simple as that guys let me know in the comments if you did find this video helpful and i'll see you in the next one